Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Odd Taxi episode number 7. Okay, the previous episode, uh, a few things happened. Uh, the whole uh, Shirakawa, what her actual intentions is, is came into light and we got everything from Dohu, you know, uh, we got the real information, everything that was happening, why Shirakawa, like, you know, started interacting with Odokawa and now, like, now she's saying that she really does like him but she's still unable to get out of the whole debt thing that like you know that uh dogu has on her like the who's paying off her debt so all that things uh stuff and uh, there's another thing the whole thing with tanaka you know he's after odokawa and uh, like trying to kill him basically and not only that there's also another problem which is um the hippo guy i can't remember his name you know uh something with kaba i think because I, I think i remember kaba because kaba means hippo in uh like you know japanese so uh so like you know that hippo guy and he's <laughs> like he he's doing like you know the garnering so much attention that dobu is getting uh like you know prob like you know it's falling into problems now because the whole uh, like you know tanaka has his gun and everyone's kind of relating that with this and like it's a messed up situation so like uh odokawa and dobu made a pact temporary pact and you know like the you know odokawa is going to help dobu uh with his problems and dobu is going to uh pay off i think uh you know i think pay off all shirakawa's debt and like leave her alone or something something like that's probably going to happen so it's all well and good and uh yeah and obviously ag has his own problems ag with his like you know he's taking his loans and all and uh, like you know the whole thing with the homo sapiens you know uh, baba and the other guy i can't remember his name you know their their friendship is kind of getting broken because of the whole like you know fame thing and all like a lot of things are happening at the same time so yeah it's kind of sad like this 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 anime is very real you know like it's like like the amount of realism this like you know anime has is like astonishing like like stuff like this happens each and every day and we like you know somewhere in the world so yeah anyway so let's get started with this uh, with this episode this is episode number seven of our taxi so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go oh god something got in my eye uh Hey, I realized something. <laughs> you know the the someone that is in, in, in Shirakawa's uh, Odokawa's closet. You know the whole thing, and like I I think I mentioned before that uh, in the opening there's a section where Odokawa is like in in his house. And you know the closet is kind of opens and there's a little cat there. And I I told that maybe it's just a cat inside. You know. From the opening, I, I understood that. Today, I'm like, you know, I'm realizing it that the little cat that Odo. Here's it, here it is. You saw that cat? Now, as I was saying, like, you know, in the beginning, the cat that uh, Odoka was petting, maybe it's just that cat. Like, I'm getting <laughs> understanding stuff phase by phase. I might be wrong, you know, it might be something completely different. But I think it's a cat. Really, it's a cat. No, that that black cat that we can see in the opening and the, the cat that i'm guessing Odoka was petting and like you know took her home i guess i don't know okay let's see trick or treat okay um that sounds kind of dangerous i don't know why the title sounds dangerous <laughs> kabasawa okay that's his name Kaba means hippo in Japanese. <laughs> yeah. He's he's scared as hell to get out. Boy, those was going to like <laughs> Now where to find him? We need his Whoa, what the What's that shining thing? 
Oh no, is it's oh no. Tanaka. Shot oh okay, this is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand now. Oh god, AG. Oh no. God. Okay, who's here? Hmm. Oh, okay, Lone Sharks. Oh, run. Ah. Oh boy, whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> Koban police. <laughs> what the hell? It's a, yeah, little one. Walk the day shift. Oh. Yeah. He was not there. He's quite dependent on his brother, you can see. Huh. No. No, definitely not. <laughs> Grandma loved that joke. <laughs> all right. It's always kind of like, you know, uh, depending on his brother. What? What? No. Ah, there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Hmm, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Then why are you... <laughs> wow, <laughs> good. <laughs> Punish evil. Hmm. Genshin Koshiro, that's the name. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. Ugh. Both of them. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. But your brother is uh Yeah, your brother is Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, he's dependent on him too much. Be no, believe yourself. That's what you need to do. Like, like judge for yourself. Okay, although I was playing some other game, I can see that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Pretending. <laughs> okay, Oduka well, has some other plans. Okay, let's see. <laughs> hmm. 
Iya. Dog. Eh. Uh. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No idea, must be something. Yeah, or must be something. Who knows? Hmm. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure he also has suspected something. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Got the mask. Hmm. No. Mm, yes. Hmm. There is a reason, okay. No, there is a reason. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I cut off the Shirakawa. <laughs> Hopefully he's able to do that. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> You're opposite of evil. <laughs> okay. No, he's not. Okay, I'm sure we're going to get to see what's behind that closet. And I'm sure it's a cat. The opening really shows us that. You know? Let's see. It's a little black cat, come on. Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh my god, more suspense. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. Special direct phone number. Oh boy, AG. Oh no, they, they must be lying in wait for him or something, I don't know. Or maybe not. Oh, are they going to show us? I'm sure this is supposed to be a very suspenseful moment, but I think I know what's going on. It's a cat. It's definitely a cat. Inside the closet. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> They're making it as if she has, he has captured some kind of kidnapped someone or something.
There you go. <sighs> okay, did, did she say everything that I took the... Yeah. Probably. Oh. Okay. Helping Olokawa? What? <laughs> Treat? What? Well, she, he has some sickness or something? Oh no, what the hell? Oh wait, he goes to the doctor, must be for a reason. Oh my god, this is- oh god, this- Um... Wait, there was a brain scan, so something in the brain? He has some pro- Oh my god, this better not go into some bad direction. I'm not liking this. Uh, don't go there. Don't go there, please. Don't get inside alleyways. Uh. Uh. Whoa! Wait, why are they actually doing this? Wait, are they the one who, who are kidnapping people? Oh my god, everything's kind of getting muddled up. Like, I don't know what to think. <laughs> it's Halloween. Oh boy, here we are. The plan. Oh! That's Yano, isn't it? What the hell? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh boy uh. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this guy's good. This guy's good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think that's Yano. Obviously, we see him in the opening most of the time. Oh boy, she's pissed. What? What are they even doing? They're kidnapping people like this? Like I don't know. Oh, they're oh they're linked with Yano. Okay. Yeah. Batch, oh boy. Oh boy, this is, bad stuff is going on here in the Idol Agency. 
Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. No, but we find found someone else. <laughs> oh, that's how. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but he never saw uh, Tanaka before. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah. True. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. I'm more interested in meeting our God. Kamasa believer. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Boy. Yeah, he's... Okay, don't tell your brother about the things that Odoka told you. I don't think he will, but... Hmm. Oh! Oh! Is that it? Is that him? All right. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh boy, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> So he all the time he raps? Oh, okay, the manager. <laughs> manager. Soko no mai, soko mo no mai. <laughs> in the warehouse, Soko. Wait. Oh no, it's, it's, it's the fake one. It's not, it's not the actual guy. That's not his gun. Ooh. That's not him. I don't think so. Yeah. That's not Tanaka, no. Oh, he, he was doing this to lure him out. What the hell is wrong with these people? Wow. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God. Run, come on. Oh my god. Oh, the car also was in the picture. Oh god, this is bad. Whoa. 
Whoa, who's this? Oh, AG. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what are they going to do with him? Like... I literally have no idea what the manager and they're planning actually like they're supplying people like this by duping them by fooling them and as i said like the badger game that they're doing and then like yano has them now now what like i'm sure they know that ag is broke so what can you even get from him no idea because like everything that ag did was somehow connected with them you know the even the loan sharks so like what are they trying to accomplish by doing this like i i would have understood if ag really was someone who was who had a lot of money and i would have also understood if ag like you know told them that i have a lot of money and if they mistook him for being really someone wealthy and doing this for money like i would have understood that but like they know everything they know that ag is broke they know that um you know it's like a, basically a normal g guy and so why why kidnapping him like i don't see any reason so i'm sure we're get, going to get an answer in the next episode like it's really weird thinking about it like it's like what's basically happening is they are like fooling people you know and the people like you know the person who's getting fooled is getting loan from their pers people as well and they're beating that guy up for not uh like, you know returning the money and taking him like you know kidnapping him like why even must be some kind of reason there must be something that's going on and that is not making sense with the amount of information that we have up until now but i'm sure we're going to get an answer in the upcoming few episodes all right so another great episode wow so <laughs> a few things happened here first of all ag gets kidnapped oh no that happens later on first of all ag gets threatened by the loan sharks and then we get to meet daimon's younger brother now here is the thing that i was really surprised about i really thought that odukawa was going to work together with um, you know uh Dobu. but then in this episode i actually like you know realized that now nah, odukawa is really not a person like that but like basically whatever they're doing is something obviously that like Odokawa is not directly helping Dobu uh, do bad things you know he's directly not getting involved in anything but still he is still kind of helping him in a way so like you know the, the, the thought like I, I at least thought about it like this I thought that all right so Odokawa is really not doing anything you know really kind of not helping but um uh, no 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 in a way he was kind of helping going to help him in a uh, criminal activity which was uh kidnapping kabasawa i think that was his name the hippo guy yeah that was that was a criminal act i basically i forgot about that for a second there no okay so yeah like that that's that's a criminal activity so all right i can now understand even like you know better why odokawa had a plan like this because as i said odokawa is a person who is like you know who like like they really did his character extremely well i have to like give props to the creators that like like usually in animes whenever there are a character like this you know a stoic type of a person uh usually we are still able to understand that nah this guy is really a good guy you know he is really like you know a nice guy even though he kind of like acts aloof about everything there are characters like this in anime and we've seen a lot of them it's like a certain character trope and but here Odokawa up until almost like a few episodes ago I really wasn't able to pinpoint what type of a guy he is what type of a character he has is he morally good is he morally neutral is he morally bad up until now I had the feeling that he was a morally neutral type of a guy you know but this and the previous one two episodes after like you know that I changed my mind on him and it, it started actually registering that he acts as if he's a no morally normal uh, like you know neutral person but he is actually a morally good person who would not would definitely not help uh, you know Dobu in stuff like this so what he did here again surprised me because I really was under the impression that he really was going to help Dobu but he did not he decided to 
play another game himself and planned another thing and he decided to like obviously he cannot do this directly because Shirakawa is kind of as like is a hostage in this situation so Shirakawa and Goriki as well in a way so that's why he like you know like in front of Dobu he was like okay I'm going to help you and he was like you help Shirakawa and like you know leave her alone and I'm going to help you and Dobu was convinced with that because Dobu himself was the person who like you know made Shirakawa interact with him and like you know this thing happened now Dobu thinks that okay like yeah like he's definitely going to help me but like good for him good for Odokawa that he has a spare plan backup plan where he actually is not going to help uh, like you know Dobu he's going to uh let dobu leave shirakawa alone that's that's going to happen that's going to like you know like that that once he got it in the bag he got that in the bag because dobu said that i won't mess with shirakawa again and from the message we can also understand that and you know shirakawa talking with goriki when she said that dobu suddenly said that i don't want your money and stuff like that so he got that in the bag that that's over so now he he has a different plan where he's going to help Dobu, but at the same time, he wants the police, that is Daimon's little brother, to actually capture him. And at the same time, he himself is probably going to be, get captured as well. That's another thing. So, yeah, like, it's like basically self-sacrificing in a way. Ugh, but anyways, um, okay. So, yeah, like, so that's why he gets the younger brother here. And obviously, we've seen the younger brother all the time. You know under the elder brother's shadow or whatever the elder brother says he's like yeah that's correct he always listens to his listens to his elder brother and his elder brother also like you know kind is kind of like that's why he's able to uh, fool uh, his younger brother and uh, like you know uh, like keep working with dobu and tricking uh, you know his brother about like you know saying stuff like no like I'm not involved with any of this and I'm I'm doing everything for justice. So I'm not sure why the older brother decided to go in this path. There must have been some kind of reason here. Because I, I don't think like you know like you know he would do this willing I'm not sure, but as I said, like there must be some kind of reason. Maybe money trouble, maybe something else. Who knows? There must be something. So I'm quite curious as to why the older brother is really like, you know, working with Dobu. So I'm sure we're going to get that in the future. But here the older, like, you know, younger brother, I'm sure the younger brother like, like felt something all this time. Like when, when he, they were like, you know, when we saw the Diamond Brothers, always or every time whenever the older, elder brother tricked the younger brother, the younger brother seemed as if he was not convinced. But at the same time, he was like, yeah, you're right. His behavior felt like that. Like he really was not convinced, but at the same time he, like you know, said like like you know, agreed to the older brother. So, <clears throat> like that's why I'm sure like you know he had his own like, you know suspicions, and that's why he really listened to Odokawa here. Otherwise, if he had blind faith in his birth brother, I doubt he would have listened to Odokawa. He would be like, no, I'm not listening to you. You're trying to like you know uh, trick me, uh, and I won't listen to you. I'm going back. He would have been like that. But since he listened to Odokawa, I'm sure he has some suspicions in his head. And that's why, like, you know, he actually listened to him. And, uh, yeah, and here we, like, you know, um, like, you know, Odokawa makes a plan here. As I said, like, I explained the plan, like, you know, they said that when they're going to, like, you know, Dobu's going to do his thing, he's going to go capture Dobu. And that's why he himself is probably going to get captured as well at the same time. But yeah, it's good for Odokawa, you know, like he's actually thought about this whole situation. But it's kind of like, you know, sacrificing himself in a way. But let's see what happens. Hopefully everything goes well. That. Okay. And then there's this section where Daimon comes in front of the closet and says that I need to check your room. And. Uh, okay, here's a weird thing that starts happening here. Mm, like, you know, the the whole, like, you know, the background, like, you know, news is playing. And, like, you know, there's this whole this section where, okay, the news. I really did not listen to the news properly. Let's see it now. Okay. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Odokawa starts acting weird here. 
He's like a good girl, like you know, looking at the closet. Now I'm sure this was supposed to be a very suspenseful moment where everyone would be like, oh my god, what's happening? What's in the closet? You know, and there's this weird type of a vibe. But I'm sure that's a false flag. Because as I said, I think if I'm like you know guessing it correctly, the opening in itself post gives out a huge spoiler as to what is inside the closet, you know? And the spoiler is, I think, it's a cat. It's a black cat. The little cat that we see in the opening. In the beginning, we see the cat. And then in one of the middle sections where there's like, you know, like the, there's a closet. And inside the closet, there's a little cat who kind of gets inside. And then there's like Shirakawa and, um, you know, Goriki dancing after that. You know, that section. So I think that's a big, one of the biggest spoiler. If it really is a cat inside, that's one of the biggest spoilers then. And I think that who inside this closet, it's, it's really a cat. And it's, it's basically like, you know, like he, he, he got that cat, picked up that cat from somewhere. <laughs> and he was like, uh, like, you know, put, put it in the closet or something. I don't know. I'm not so sure. But I think it's something like that. So that scene, I'm not that much concerned about. But there's another thing that happens after that is the news where we see Okay, here it is. An under an identified body has been found in the Tokyo Bay. <clears throat> Here's the thing. If I remember, there was a scene in the first episode where there's a body that was, you know, tied up, thrown into the water. That might be the Tokyo Bay. And I think they never mentioned it again after that. I'm guessing that body came up and that body got found. I think that was what was being mentioned here in this uh you know uh, in this section and at that moment i think Odaka was sleeping or something in his taxi i'm not sure but like everything like you know the whole anime is kind of going in a way where they're really trying to make us suspect Odokawa. but i don't think he he is like you know he's really a good guy and especially this section as i said like you know like for people who has not realized the spoiler in the opening i think i think that is a spoiler if the cat really is in the closet for people who have not realized that this whole scene would be really weird as people would start thinking like as soon as like you know there's like Odakawa is like oh good like you know good girl and then like taping up the uh, window and saying that now you won't be able to run away and then there's this like you know uh, background there's this <laughs> news playing and saying that some kind of body got discovered like this whole scene it really makes it extremely weird and makes it feel as if Odokawa is kid has kidnapped someone and is hiding some someone in the closet and i don't think that is the case here which uh i'm not sure we're going to wait we have to wait to see out uh, see what how this goes so as i said like you know it's like it's, it's like the show is really trying to make us feel as if something weird is going on and Odokawa is doing something bad here but i doubt that's the case but <laughs> boy <laughs> All right. Okay. Now another thing. Uh, after that, here's here's the new info. I need to check this out again. Uh, new info from location where body was discovered. Abandoned body. Police rushing to the uh, to identify the victim. Uh, Life Minato Ward Shibuara Wharf. Uh, this morning before dawn at the Shibuara Wharf in Minato Ward, the body of a woman. Here you go. Believed to be in her teens to thirties was discovered. Nearby construction workers reported the body and according to the police investigation after being killed somewhere else They believe her body was dumped in the sea. They believe roughly a month has passed since her death Okay, all right, so that was it and As I said like you know this whole section is kind of weird in a way It's making it feel as if like you know Odokawa is doing something bad like you know like you see Odokawa taping up the <laughs> room <laughs> you know the, the the glass and saying that you won't be able to run now like <laughs> okay i can kind of guess how like you know he, he's i'm guessing he's basically concerned about the cat running away or something i don't know <laughs> and the way he kind of says that feels as if he has kidnapped someone <laughs> boy like <laughs> uh, this is this is the only one section in this anime that's not really confusing me because i i, I saw the opening and i kind of understand what's happening Otherwise, all the other sections are really confusing now. Now, the next section. Oh my god, here's another big, big bomb drops here. Odokawa has some problem here. Odokawa has, is probably ill somewhere, somehow. Now, okay, let me check this section out again. Okay, Shirakawa says that, is there something I can do to help? 
and Goriki says that this is like only one we can help which is by treating him okay here's a medical record I need to read this name Hiroshi Odokawa male uh, date of birth 25 5th May 555 age 41 years 5 months address name award uh, oh I thought some kind of thing would be written about what disease he has but it's not written and it's a CT scan obviously we can see it's, it's, it's a brain scan so god like this whole thing is really kind of giving me bad vibes like if it's a brain like it's a brain scan can freaking brain scan like bad stuff happens in the brain <laughs> like obviously so whenever whenever something like this shows up in an anime and he, he's basically saying that we're going to treat him so that means something is happening to him i really don't want him to it's giving him bad feelings i really don't want him to end up dead by the end of the anime i really don't want that like i'm like i've had it enough with sad endings in animes and it, it, it's it's really not my cup of tea hopefully the thing that goriki said i'm not sure what what disease he has but whatever goriki said i'm i hope he's able to cure him because i don't really want any sad endings for this i really don't want especially for odokawa like odokawa like odokawa really is a really nice guy and i i really don't want him getting the short end of the stick by the end of the anime you know like it, it like you know it really doesn't make me feel good whenever there's like you know like there's this anime that like some kind of anime where whatever the, the main character you know he helps everyone and like you know does so many good things and by the end of it he ends up dead and everyone else is happy everyone else has like you know found something in their life and they end the anime there and it's like oh wow everything's so good like you know like but the but the, but the main character who did everything for everyone is is dead like what the hell like i really don't like that type of like you know and like setting a show where it really feels as if like they are i don't know like just to make the story like you know emotional they killed off the main character after the main character did so many things so many good things. basically i'm not I'm, I'm not i'm not good with bad endings or sad endings i really don't like them like like i i really am not a big fan of them like there are a few people i i've seen a few people actually say stuff like oh like sad endings give the anime more i don't know realism feelings or something like that like i don't care like i really don't care like 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 you know what like if if if, if, if there's an, there was an anime which was trashy as hell like stupid like you know anime with a good ending and if there was like a god tier anime with a sad ending i would choose the trashy anime like that's basically me like that's just me you know like i'm sure there are different opinions and i i don't like you know i'm, I'm not saying that yeah like you know i'm not i have no problem with that but for me i would always choose that trashy but good ending anime instead of going for the god tier anime with a bad or sad ending i i don't like them at all so i really hope I really hope I am loving this anime like you know this is one of the best things I've ever seen you know like or taxi like it, it deserves each and every praise that I'm giving it and <clears throat> I really hope it ends well like for God's sake <laughs> give us an ha give us a happy ending I don't want sad stuff happening to Odokawa here oh boy <laughs> okay anyways okay that happens and then we get to the next scene where AG gets you know pummeled <laughs> uh, he loses unconscious and then okay and then the next section the actual uh, plan starts of capturing uh, Tanaka and uh, uh, Kaba again forgot his name his name is so <laughs> Kaba Sawa was it I remember Kaba obviously because it means hippo but anyways you know uh, those two like the new plan starts Odokawa is there uh, Dobu is there and then we go to the next section where there is it's kind of a little shock here as well where we actually realize that they like you know they like, as I said they basically outrightly like you know they outright admitted it that as, as the girl said like you know I don't want to do this badger game anymore and the lead idol was like oh so what are you going to do you like you know you're, you're not better for anything else like do your goddamn job she was like this and boy <laughs> okay 
Yeah, so basically this idol group has some shady things going on. They are connected with Yano and there's this whole thing as they're like, you know, they're like tricking people, like making, like, you know, this girl do, like, you know, like kind of message them. As I said, as she said, you know, badger game and, um, you know, bring them in and, like, you know, they take loans and stuff. And then the loan sharks who are also connected with Yano beats them up, kidnaps them. And I don't know, I really hope that Yano, this, like, you know, this whole thing that's happening with Yano and, like, you know, the, the manager here, the idol group, this thing and the body that got found is not connected. I really hope that's not the case here. Because if it is, if it, if those two are really connected, like, so, I guess confusing in a, in a, like, you know, a few ways, because I, like, I'm saying this, it, it might be connected, but at the same time, I'm thinking that if it is connected, why even why why do something like this like what's the point in this what are they trying to accomplish here like they're basically like robbing like in a way like you know like tricking people like luring them in with uh, with a girl and then like you know the person like you know buys so many stuff takes loans get goes into debt and is unable to pay them back and the loan sharks get him take him to yano kidnaps him then what? Like what? What? What even is the point of this? What? Are, what are they even? What are they even trying to do? Uh, okay, I need to stop thinking about this because I'm sure we're going to get an answer in the next episode because something must happen after this. Like I'm sure we're going to get some kind of reasonable answer. Like why are they doing something like this? And uh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> All right, and then we get to the next scene where, like you know. The plan starts, Kodokawa and Dogu are outside and uh, <clears throat> here we also get to learn that Yano is connected with the manager, you know, the manager of the idol group and Dogu finds a person with the mask. Now here's the thing, uh, the thing that Kabas Kabasawa, is, Kabasawa is doing, I think that was his name, uh, is like, you know, like we can see that he's doing everything for fame and you know, to get relevant, to get viral. And it's like whole thing is kind of like, you know, what can I say, like making him in a weird way, power hungry. And he's like, oh, we're going to catch him. We're going to get justice for everyone, stuff like that, you know. And uh, the people are also getting reckless here. Like we can see like there's like accounts where there's like Kabasawa believer. There's an account. Like imagine the amount of influence Kabasawa has been on them. Like people are calling him. Uh, like you know, like calling themselves his believers, like it's as if like he's some kind of a god. Like, people are really doing something like that. Like this whole like you know, uh, internet. Uh, what do you call this? Um, oh, I'm not sure what to call this. Like you know, like becoming famous suddenly, becoming viral, and people worshiping you. This whole thing is so bad in a way. Like not only for the people who are doing it, but at the same time, the people who are getting worshipped as uh, some kind of a like, you know otherworldly being like like kawasawa kawasawa here like they also start going in the wrong path like this and like i'm not saying that the thing that he's trying to do is wrong he's trying to capture uh you know dogu that's good that's a good thing but the reason why he's doing is it is wrong he's just he just wants to be famous that's why he's doing this now obviously like if he captures him and all it's, it's well and good for every like one but he's also going to get hurt that's another problem if something bad happens if, if he missteps some way he's going to get captured and he's going to get shipped off somewhere like that's what's going to happen basically like i don't know like so basically he's endangering himself he's endangering his fans as well you know people who are believing in him he's doing everything for the wrong reason which is for becoming viral and he is not acting responsibly if he really had like you know like crucial clue about like you know dobu and wanted to really help the world help people like you know fight for justice the first thing he would have done is being responsible and tell the authorities tell the police and like you know get proper help and actually capture dobu the thing he did here is he basically got the picture and I'm sure he's not going to go to the police station. I doubt that he's going to post that on his social media and he's going to get more famous. Like that's what he's doing. Like these are the few things that I really don't like the things, the way the things that he's doing. So that's just my take on this whole situation. And uh, I don't know, like, as I said, like he's endangering, endangering himself, he's endangering, endangering his fans. 
and at the same time uh, like he's, he's he's doing stuff irresponsibly in a way so yeah and now basically <laughs> odokawa has to help him like you know not get hurt because if dobu somehow catches him yeah he he's in a world of pain he's going to get in a world of pain and i'm sure odokawa is going to stop that somehow uh, if he gets captured by the way so yeah all right yeah that happens and uh, all right and then in the end we get to see yano getting into the warehouse and uh, no, then AG is there now. I'm sure we're going to get our answers why he's doing this and what is even the reason for all of these, like you know, things that they're doing, like this complex process of, like you know, tricking people like this. I'm sure we're going to get our answers. And obviously, Yano's rapping was another one of the best parts of this episode. <laughs> Damn, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like, uh, it's like reminded reminded me of Naruto Killer B. <laughs> Zombieland Saga, you know, the whole rap section and uh, <laughs> Boy, okay. So yeah guys, that was it. So that was my reaction to Odd Taxi episode number seven another fantastic episode I'm loving this show so much and uh, Yeah, like I really hope it gets a good ending as I said, like, you know, I'm not Big fans of sad endings. So let's wait. I'm sure I hope so. I hope I really hope this gets a good ending because Odukawa really deserves it in a way so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of our taxi so until then goodbye and have a nice day